girls! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial tutorial <laughs> on the look that I have on my face right now. And it's actually a collab with my good friend here on YouTube and in real life, si Nice. I will put her link in the description box below. Ang gagawin naming video is since June, yung month natin ngayon, and alam naman natin kapag June, maraming kinakasal, um, I am going to do um, yung makeup tutorial for wedding guests. So, itong look na to is very neutral. So, it's going to go with like, lahat ng kulay naman ng damit na gusto mo or lahat ng motif. Since, ayan, very neutral lang siya. Neutral eyes, neutral lang cheeks, and yung lip is a nude lipstick lang. So, kahit anong kulay ang suot mo. Bonggang bongga kahit formal or smart casual lang. Bongga na itong look na to. Tapos yung gagawin ni Nice is going to be a makeup look or a DIY makeup look for brides. So yun. Very exciting diba babigyas? Eman ko ako na excite ako. Kasi na-enjoy ko talaga itong look na to. Parang GGSS lang. <laughs> okay. So without any further ado, kung gusto niyong malaman kung paano ko ginawa itong makeup look na ito, then just keep on watching. And, gumawa ako ng foundation routine, mga pang-event na foundation routine, full coverage foundation routine. I'm pretty sure mauuna yung ma-upload before this video. And ito pa rin yung suot ko. Same na same pa rin lahat, hair and everything. Because, sinabi ko naman doon, after I filmed the foundation video, mag-film ako nitong makeup tutorial. Okay, so without any further ado, magsimula na tayo dito sa ating makeup tutorial. Gusto ko mag-start sa face makeup. Okay, so sa ating pagkukuntour, syempre yung favorite ko yung gagamitin ko. This is a single eyeshadow from FS in the shade Cinnamon Noose. And ito yung gagamitin ko to contour my face. Kukuha lang ako ng product, top of the excess. And ilalagay ko lang siya right here sa hollows of my cheeks. Tapos, blend up. Yun yun lang tayo mag-contour. Nagsistart ako right here kung saan nagsisimula yung ear ko. Pababa. Up to the end of my eye. Ayan. So, like that. Para lumiit na ang slight ang ating face. And then, syempre, huwag kalimutan ang jawline. Ayan. So, sa ibaba ko siya nilalagyan. Hindi mismo right here. Dito lang sa baba. Para magkaroon din tayo ng jaw. Or jawline. <laughs> Tapos, kukuha pa ako ng product. And, ilalagay ko siya right here sa ilalim ng ating... Ano ba to? Um, chin. Ayan. Para at least ma-diminish ng slight ang ating double chin. Tapos, to balance everything out, maglalagay na rin ako right here sa temples. And sa ating forehead. Para balance yun, di ba? Hindi lang dito may brown. Dito rin. Yes, natatamaan din yan ng light or ng sunlight. Huwag naman masyado para hindi magbukhang helmet. <laughs> okay. Tapos, using the same contour powder and a small angle brush like this. Actually, para sa mata to, pero why not? It just came in a random brush set. And then, let's use this to contour the nose. So, usually I start here where my brow ends. Kapakapain na lang kung saan ba yung bridge ng iyong nose. Or kung walang bridge, make a new bridge, di ba? <laughs> Ayan, sinasali ko rin dito sa ilalim to lift the tip up para lang magmukhang lifted yung ating nose. Ayan, konti lang, not too much. Tapos, sa other side, same thing. Tapos, i-blend lang natin yung edges. Para magmukhang mas natural. And then, you can also put a little bit of contour right here. 
sa ilalim ng iyong bottom lip para magmukhang pauti tignan yung iyong bottom lip. Diba? <laughs> okay. So, after the contour, mag-blush na tayo. Yesterday, yung blush na ginamit ko is the Gold Rush Blush. Pero, parang gusto ko today, iba yung gamitin ko. For today, I'm gonna use yung Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade Satin Love. Ito kasi mas kumukulay siya compared dun sa Gold Rush. And parang yun yung mas spec ko ngayon. Pati dito nilalagyan ko ng blush. Hindi ko alam bakit. Type ko lang. Ayan, pa-cute lang na blush. Huwag masyado. And then, dito na part, konti lang yung nilalagay ko. Like, yung excess lang sa brush. Tapos, dito yung mas marami. Like, dun sa apples talaga ng cheeks. See, dito ako una naglalagay ng product. Tap-tap lang. And then, ipablend ko siya. Papasok. And, palabas. Parang pumupula ulit yung aking pimples because of the blush. Nakakaloka. There we go. And then, sa highlight naman, I'm gonna use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Yesterday, ginamit ko si Dandelion uh, Twinkle ng Benefit. Pero, let's do like a more affordable option for today. Miniblend in ko rin siya para magkaroon ng parang dewiness dyan or glow ayan very natural looking pero let's add one more layer dito lang sa highest point of our cheeks para magmukhang mas bang and highlight pack yes don't forget the cupid's bow lang. And syempre, yung ating nose highlight. Sa nose, hindi rin masyadong marami yung ilalagay ko because my nose is super oily. So, hindi ko na actually kailangan ng highlight dyan because naturally, may glow na talaga siya. Okay, there we go. And since nalagay na natin lahat ng powder products on our face, we can go ahead and set our makeup. I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix. There we go. And then, let's wait for it to dry. And then, kapag almost dry na siya, Maglalagay ako ng one more layer of highlight just here sa tops of my cheekbones. Ayan, pack. Para magpop talaga siya. Especially if you have an event. Bonggang bongga yan. So, for the remainder of the tutorial, actually, mag-voiceover na lang ako because... I just wanted to watch my Netflix show while doing my makeup. Pero okay lang naman, di ba? And also, parang matagal na panahon na rin tayong hindi nakapag-voiceover. So, let's do this. For our eye makeup look, ang gagamitin kong palette is the B by Bob's Beauty by BH Cosmetics. And the first color that we are using is the shade Optimistic. I'm just going to use a fluffy blending brush for this one. This is actually from Wet n Wild. It's one of my favorites. Tapos, yung shape na gagawin ko for my eyes is actually parang rounded na shape. Usually kasi pag nag eye shadow ako, ginagawa ko siyang parang pakat eye. Pero for today, I thought I wanted to do a rounded effect. And nagustuhan ko siya in fairness on myself. Ayun, ang ginagawa ko lang is I put a majority of the product on the center of my eyelid. As you can see naman. Kasi gusto ko, dyan yung pinaka-dark na area ng aking eyes. Well, for this color, yan yung gusto kong pinaka-dark. And then, with whatever is left on the brush, um, bine-blend ko lang siya all over the upper crease area. Yes. Okay. After that, kapag well-blended na lahat, blend, blend, blend. I'm taking the color Inspired. This one is a deeper brown than Optimistic. Sometimes I use Thoughtful, sometimes I use Inspired, pero 
today mas gusto ko yung inspired para mas neutral talaga this one i use for this color i use a small tulip brush and then in apply ko lang siya talaga like sa outer corners ng mata ko pero sometimes nilalagay ko lang talaga siya like sa my eyelid area lang pero for today or for this look I wanted na medyo makita pa rin siya. Like kahit naka-open yung eyes ko, gusto ko na medyo makita pa rin siya. So, pinalampas ko siya sa my upper crease area ko. And then, I'm just building up the product. Kasi medyo hindi siya ganun ka-dark like how it is shown in the palette. So, binibuild up ko lang yung product. I think three layers yung ginawa ko para makita talaga natin yung dark brown sa ating eyes. And then, once I lay the product, um, medyo kinikis-kis ko siya konti para mag-blend siya. But, I actually go back to my original blending brush, yung may sobrang optimistic sa kanya. Hindi na ako kumuha ng excess product. Like, whatever is left on the brush, yun lang yung ginamit ko to blend out the shade Inspired. After that, I worked on the lower waterline or lower lash line. First, ginamit ko na naman yung shade na Optimistic, still using the same brush, and talagang nilagay ko lang siya all over my lower lash line. Very sloppy lang. And then, I'm taking like a really thin brush para sa color na Inspired, and parang ginamit ko siyang eyeliner. So, dun lang talaga siya sa mismong lash line ko nilagay. Very close to the lash line lang talaga. Para maging uh, malinis lang siya tignan. Hindi masyadong smoky. Slightly smoky lang since it is for a wedding, di ba? Next naman, I'm taking the shade Happy. Ito yung pinaka lightest shade in the palette. With this shade, ginalagay ko siya sa aking brow bone. Hindi siya masyadong shimmery. Meron lang siyang konting parang Parang satin shade lang siya, which is perfect. Tapos, nilagay ko na rin itong shade na to sa inner corners ko to give my eyes a little bit of a pop. Para mas parang uh, awake tayo tignan, no? And then, after that, for our eyelid, I'm taking the shade Grateful. Now, um, ilalagay ko lang to, like sa eyelid lang mismo, yung wala, tayong, yung wala pa tayong nilagay na shade. Just to add a little bit of shine and shimmer. Kung gusto nyo na medyo metallic finish siya, you can go ahead and wet your brush para mas vulva boom ang inyong eye makeup. <laughs> Pero for me, I wanted it to look um, a little bit more subdued. Parang, ah, oh, virgin lang. Yos. Yos. <laughs> ano ba yun? Okay, after that, nag-eyeliner ako or liquid liner. I used the Caroline Graph Ink Liner na waterproof daw. Um, I actually really like this in fairness. Okay siya kahit super mura lang niya. It's actually a really nice product. So ayan, I'm just putting on like a really simple line. Um, not too thin and not too thick. Tapos, after that, I'm taking these lashes. These are from Wicked Beauty in the style G01. Ilalagay ko yung Shopee link nila sa description box below. These are one of my favorite lashes and they're very affordable. Okay. Next up, oh by the way, ang ginamit kong glue, I got this from Swesh, pero yung brand niya is Darkness. This is so good. This is my favorite eyelash glue. Um, I think 395 pesos ito, pero parang one year na siya sa akin, or mag one year and okay pa rin siya. I love it! So now, we're going to work on the lips. First, I decided to use a lip liner para medyo plump tignan yung lips ko and para mas um, klaro yung aking lip line. I used the EB Matte Lip Liner in the shade Mirrored Mocha. Ito yung isa sa mga pinaka-favorite kong shades from Everbelena, yung mga lip liners nila. I don't know how many shades I have, four or five yata, pero ito yung pinaka-favorito ko. So, I lined my lips with that one. I overlined a tiny bit especially sa middle part ng lips ko. And after lining my lips, naglagay na ako ng lipstick. I used the MAC lipstick in the shade Nude Du Jour. I hope tama yung pag-pronounce ko. Pero this lipstick binigay to ni Sis Nice sa akin. And I actually wanted to use yung mga brushes na binigay niya sa akin. Pero ewan ko, parang ayoko pa silang gamitin. Every morning I'm gonna be here. Why you crying? Why so many tears? You've been there for me. I've been there for you. Look in the mirror and think this new. Something as perfect and pretty as you. I never could leave. 
Hi, mga girls! So, ayun na nga yung video natin for today. This is the completed look. Sana nagustuhan nyo. It's really the same look na I did um, yesterday. Pero, matanggal mga upload itong video na to. So, <laughs> nung nag-insta story ako or nag-upload ng pictures na <clears throat> nag-attend ako ng wedding. So, this is the exact same look. I hope you like it. And, sana nakatulong naman itong video ko na to para sa inyo. Um, if you like it or if you enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help this plump caterpillar to become a butterfly. And don't forget to check out my channel on channel ni Nice. I will put the link in the description box below. So, ayun, thank you so much for watching, baby girls. I love you. And hopefully, I will see you in the next vlog. See you later. Love you. Love you.